Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about bacteria pH requirements. So let's go ahead and get started. Virtually all bacteria are subject to various pH requirements. What we mean by this is that all bacteria have some kind of maximum growth pH. And this refers to the highest pH at which they can still grow. They also have a minimum growth pH. So that would be the lowest pH at which they can grow. And also all bacteria are going to have an optimum growth pH. This optimum growth pH is where they are going to grow the best. We can actually classify bacteria based on these pH requirements and they fall into three main groups. So here on this graph, on the y-axis, we have the growth rate. Higher up will be the optimum growth. So the optimum growth, for the, the optimum growth for this group is here. Optimum growth for this group is here. Optimum growth for this group is here. Then the maximums and the minimums would be at either end of that curve. So the first group of bacteria that we can classify based on pH requirements are those that have an optimum at pH of 5.5 or less. Remember that seven is neutral. Anything less than that is acidic. Anything greater than that is basic. So when there's an optimum that's either sort of five and a half or even lower, these are bacteria that we call acidophiles. So they are acid loving and they have um, the, the ability to thrive at those lower pHs. The next group are the ones that have optimum growth pHs between 5.5 and 8. So right around that sort of pH of 7 that's neutral. So these are bacteria that we call neutrophiles. And then finally we have the bacteria that have optimum pHs of 8 or more, so basic pHs. Remember that alkaline is another name for basic, and so these are what we call alkalophiles. And again, different bacteria fall into these different groups. So for example, most E. coli and salmonella are actually neutrophiles, but the pathogenic strains, the ones that can get into our um, gastrointestinal tracts and cause food poisoning, those tend to be acidophiles because they are better equipped to, um, to survive and to replicate and grow in the acidic conditions of the human stomach. Um, some other examples of acidophiles are lactobacilli. Lactobacilli are bacteria that live in the female vagina and actually create and, and produce lactic acid, um, lowering the pH of the vagina to about four. And this actually means that they can grow very well, but a lot of other um, pathogenic bacteria and certain kinds of pathogenic yeasts cannot grow at that low pH, and thus that protects women from having things like yeast infections. Um, an, exa <coughs> excuse me. an example of an alkalophile, something that's got an optimum growth pH of eight or greater, is um, Vibrio cholerae, which causes cholera. And that's why cholera has such a high infectious dose. So for example, we have to ingest um, something on the order of 100,000 of the Vibrio cholerae bacteria in order to actually get cholera. And that's because they really thrive more at this, at this higher pH. And so when we ingest them, they're no longer at their um, like optimal growth pH. So it takes quite a large dose to actually get sick. Um, with that particular type of bacterium. So that's it today for bacteria pH requirements. You can also check out my videos on bacteria temperature requirements, bacteria oxygen requirements, and bacteria um, binary fission and, and growth patterns. So check those out and thanks for watching Biology Professor.